Hi, and welcome to Community Connection. I'm your host, Tracy Christensen. Many families in our community face the challenges of mental health, and even among children and young adults. And Lori Sarar from Allies with Families has joined us today to tell us what they're doing to help young people work through difficulties that come with some of those psychological challenges. And I love the name of your organization because families, when they're dealing with these kind of struggles, they do need an ally. They do. And uh, we chose to do allies with families instead of for families because we want to do things with them and not for them. So they can learn to do for themselves. That is great. So for our viewers who are watching, <coughs> tell us about what kinds of families and people you serve and work with and and who needs to know what services you provide? Well, we work with all families who have um, identified kids with uh, mental health or emotional or behavioral disorders. Um, our s child serving system can be very difficult to navigate and we are all moms. We are not professionals. We're all moms who've been through the system and we just want to give back and help other moms find their way through the system and find the services that they need for their kids. So when you talk about um, mental health and behavioral challenges, what are some of the specific diagnoses that you would work okay, with? Okay, so, so some of them are like bipolar disorder, um, ADHD. Um, we work with some families who have autism if they have a co-occurring behavioral disorder that goes along with that. Um, anything that uh, inhibits children from um, going through their life uh, normally, you know, like it, it inhibits them learning in school or in any other way, Th those are the families that we try to help. And so what activities and, and events are going on with your organization? We have um, a great uh, activity for families. We call it Operation Families Together because it brings the whole family in for an educational um, experience and we have a class for um, parents, it's called From Hope to Recovery, that teaches them how to understand and deal with the new, newly diagnosed child um, and what the diagnosis means and that there's hope and that there's treatment and that there's people out there the, so they don't have to feel alone. But along with that, we have sib shops because our siblings don't often get the, the uh, care or the attention that they need, so we have a sib shop, mm -hmm. which is just a recreational fun thing for the kids. Um, and then they see that other kids have brothers and sisters too, and they don't have to feel so alone. Um, we have a skills building class for the identified child so that they can learn new skills to, to uh, function better in the community. And then of course we do child care for those really young ones that don't, don't qualify any of the other two. There are such needed services, and you are a nonprofit, so what's yes. the cost for these? No cost to families. Nothing. Yeah. No, no, we, we work with um, local, um, state, and federal grants that allow us to provide the services we do. Tell everybody where they can go for more information. Allies with Families has a website at uh, www.allieswithfamilies.org. Um, our office is um, in Salt Lake, but we have uh, family resource facilitators throughout the state. Um, and so if they wanted to call our office at 801-433-2595 or, and I can recommend a, a family resource facilitator in their community. So great, such a needed service and, mm -hmm. and one that we're really grateful that you give us in our community. Thanks, Thank Lori. Mm -hmm. We're glad you can join us here on 11. It's our goal to act as a bridge between you, our viewers, and organizations like this that are working to better the lives of everyone in our community. So please visit kbyu11.org and click on the community tab. You can learn more about allies with families. Thanks for watching and join us next time on Community Connection.